Welcome to Emmanuel Episcopal Church's YouTube channel. Today is the seventh Sunday of Easter. The readings for today are Acts chapter 1 verses 6 through 14, Psalm 68 verses 1 through 10 and 33 through 36. The second reading will be taken from 1 Peter chapter 4 verses 12 through 14, chapter 5 verses 6 through 11, and the gospel taken from John 17 verses 1 through 11. The Collect. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Do not leave us comfortless, but send us your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to that place where our Savior Christ has gone before, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God and glory everlasting. Amen. The first reading is taken from Acts chapter 1 verses 6 through 14. When the apostles had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas son of James. All these were constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. The word of the Lord. We'll read Psalm 68, verses 1 through 10, 33 through 36. Let God arise, and let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. Let them vanish like smoke, when the wind dries it away. As the wax melts at the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. Let them also be merry and joyful. Sing to God, sing praises to his name, exalt him who rides upon the heavens. Yahweh is his name, rejoice before him. Father of orphans, defender of window, God in his holy habitation. God gives the solitary a home and brings forth prisoners into freedom. But the rebels shall live in dry places. O oh God, when you went forth before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook and the skies poured down rain and the presence of God, the God of Sinai, at the presence of God, the God of Israel. You sent a gracious rain, O God, upon your inheritance. You refreshed the land when it was weary. Your people found their home in it. In your goodness, O God, you have made provision for the poor. Sing to God, O kingdoms of earth. Sing praises to the Lord. He rides in the heavens and ancient heavens. He sends forth his voice, his mighty voice. Ascribe to power, his majesty is over Israel. His strength is in disguise. How wonderful is God in his holy places, the God of Israel giving strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
The second reading is taken from 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 12 to 14, and chapter 5, 6 through 11. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has taken place among you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in so far as you are sharing Christ's suffering so that you may also be glad and shout for joy when his glory is revealed. If you are reviled for the name of Christ, you are blessed, because the spirit of glory, which is the spirit of God, is resting on you. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Discipline yourselves, keep alert, like a roaring lion your adversary the devil prowls around, looking for someone to devour. Resist them, steadfast in your faith, for you know that your brothers and sisters in all the world are undergoing the same kinds of suffering. And after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, support, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. Here ends the second reading. The Gospel according to John chapter 17 verses 1 through 11. Jesus looked up to the heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son so that the Son may glorify you. Since you have given him authority over all people to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave me, I have given to them, and they have received them, and know in the truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine. And I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world. And I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. The Gospel according to John. Thank you for choosing to reflect on the word of our Savior Jesus Christ with Emmanuel Episcopal Church. Hope you join us again. Look in the description box below for the readings and ways to give. God bless.